today on Kid Nation TV. I'm telling you the date because it's a special day. I find myself learning about who I am and what I want to stand for from these kids who are on this trip. Welcome to Kid Nation TV. Today is Wednesday, August 22nd, and I'm telling you the date because it's a special day. Today is Kid Craddock's birthday. Now, Kid Craddock is the man who started this show. Mm -hmm. He also started a charity called Kids Kids, and he actually dedicated his entire life to Kids Kids. That's what it all came to. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and dedicate this show to Kids Kids. Now, mostly because Kid always said, I don't want you guys to acknowledge my birthday, but then oh. he would get mad if you didn't oh. acknowledge oh, his birthday. He was, it was such a tricky little line to walk, right? Yeah. We right. didn't know what to do. Right, right. But do, Kelly, do you remember the one year that all the salespeople came down the hall so, so excited to sing <laughs> happy birthday? Happy that was the birthday. saddest thing I ever saw. I think that was the beginning of Ban My Birthday Celebration. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and dedicate it to kids, kids, just in his honor. Sure. I think Disney World, no matter what step of life you're in, is so magical that you could be a sick kid, you could be a healthy kid, you could be a grandparent. It's just that magic of Disney World that's so, it appeals to everyone. You have a vision of how your life's gonna turn out and I feel like this quote, like, when you make plans, God laughs, is so relevant in my life because I totally had this other plan and then I think this this was meant to be my plan this whole time. And my dad always told me I was going to be involved with the foundation at some point, but there was never that, like, D-date of when that was gonna be. So I just kind of had to thrust myself in there and kind of take over. And it's such an honor to be able to carry on his legacy. I think this was the best part of my dad. He had so many great attributes, but I think his heart was the biggest and best part of my dad. And the fact that I get to carry this on and put my little spin on it, I want my kids to be able to carry that out one day and have their mom's legacy and their grandfather's legacy to continue. Um, I'm 18 years old. I was on the 2010 Kids Kids trip. We love Disney, our family loves Disney, so having the opportunity to go on this trip and not have to worry about really anything because everything is taken care of for you um, and you have so many cool opportunities that you wouldn't get if you were to just go, you know, by yourselves as um, a family. So that was really, really awesome and, you know, just Family time in general at Disney is great just to be together. And then, you know, there's magic all around. That's a big thing she says. So always look for the magic in things. To have this opportunity has been the world. To see faces of my son and my daughter again, and then to make friends that also have the same scars, same zippers, same. Uh, pick line scars on their arms and the smiles and the laughter and it's just been amazing. So Kids Kids is a way for children to get away from being stuck in the hospital rooms. It's a time for families who might have never taken a family vacation to get to bond that way. It's a way to focus on the siblings who may not get to go to soccer practice because their mom and dad are both stuck in the hospital with the other sibling. So it's a way to give them a little special attention. It's just a way for kids to get out and be kids because they have to take so much on being a sick child. They have to know all these medical terms and just they don't get to their lives are very bleak and so we get to bring that hope and happiness and magic into their lives and I think this even though it's only a short amount of time that we get to be in Disney World with these kids I think it fills up their love tank enough to last them for so long just uh, the friendships that we made while we were here uh, just the fact that we were able to do this for our daughter you know she's losing her sight and uh, just being able to give her these memories, these visuals, something that we've been trying to plan for a really long time. So that's, I think that's what impacted us the most. I think it was just by, I don't know, there's just a lot of love and support there. There's no 
judgment. Everybody else is going through similar situations. You got just everybody dealing with their own stuff. So to have, and really, and, and at the end of the day too, there, it's like you're also, everyone's also there for each other because everyone understands. Because everyone doesn't always have that when back home. So for, the, for when you come here, when you come on the trip, it's a huge weight off your shoulder for a lot of these families. It was a huge weight off my shoulder for me. I just got to, it was crazy. I got sick by the end of it, but I, did I care? I don't, I had, I had the time <laughs> of my life. You're buying into sheer happiness. I mean, from the second we get to the airport, to the hangar, to the second that we get home, back to that hangar, it is like you're at a 10 the entire time. And I'm a crier, I'm just, I'm, I'm an emotional person. And I'm crying the whole time because I'm happy, because I am I am like just a small, small part of being able to have these kids get a break for a weekend. And it's just, everything's so magical in Disney, from even just stepping into Magic Kingdom the first day and seeing the castle, and you know, smelling the popcorn and just having the balloons everywhere. It's just such a like memorable experience that you never forget. When my dad started Kids Kids, his goal was to just bring happiness to children and to make memories that will last a lifetime. And that's what we want to continue to do. It's not lost on me that I'm not going to be doing this forever. And it's in my head every night. How are we going to continue to raise money for this trip? By keeping the awareness up for Kids Kids, it lets people know that they can donate anytime year-round by going to kidskids.com. So we're proud of what we accomplish here. We're proud of all the people that put it together, and uh, we'd sure like to see this continue forever. I'm proud of you, kid. Thanks, Al. Sure. Proud of you, too. Thanks. Thank you, Kid Craddock. Thanks, Kid Craddock. Thanks, Thanks. Kid. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> The beauty of Kids Kids is the moment you get to Disney World, you forget, and I think every kid forgets all the things that they're dealing with back home. And they forget, sometimes I think the, 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 the realities of their world are, are things that they, they have to think about extra things to prepare for and, and just all of the, the priorities for them, is a, it's a really long list for them to do anything to go to to school for them to go to the movies sometimes can be a challenge but I think when we get to, to Disney World and kids kids provides you know all the medical care that they need and everything that they need so they can forget about all of those things and they can just be kids and that's the magic of kids kids and then by the end of the week I find myself learning so much about who I am and what I want to stand for from these kids who are on this trip more Kid Nation TV after the break Hiring is challenging, but there's one place you can go where hiring is simple, fast, and smart. That place is ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter is so effective that 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. And right now, Kid Nation members can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash kid. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash K-I-D-D. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Get the most out of your life and get the most out of your water with Earth Water. With up to 70 plus trace minerals and powerful antioxidants, Earth Water provides the nutrients that you've been missing from your daily diet. Buy now at www.earthwater.com slash kid. Welcome back to Kid Nation TV. But my favorite moment from our Kids Kids trip actually happened on our first trip. Uh, this little boy named Xavier, he's probably now a grown up, but uh, he had no arms, no legs, and we did a talent show, and he stepped up and said he wanted to be a part of it, so we asked him, hey, what's your talent? And he said, I'm gonna do a handstand. And we all looked around and said, how is this kid without any arms gonna do a handstand? And sure enough, he walked up to the stage, and Xavier, I don't know how he did it, but he performed a handstand in front of everyone, and the crowd erupted with applause and everything. And he has st short stature, which he's 12 years old, and I guess he may be two and a half. Yeah, he's 12 three. years old. He's the height of a three or four year old. Yeah, yeah, very short. And he also was born with stumps, his arms. So he comes up on stage, we pick him up, we put him up on stage, and kid interviews him. He says, what are you going to do? And he says, I'm going to do a handstand. And he has no hands. You guys didn't believe me, though. And he, he has no hands. And, and kid, you know, we wanted to make sure that we heard this right. And, and I'm, I'm looking at kid, you know, we're trying to figure out what he's going to do. And sure enough, he kneels down, 
and his, 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 I can't even describe what he did. He did a handstand with the stumps that he has. He, he perched himself up and put his head down and bent his legs back. And he was standing on his knees. Oh, I'm like, oh my God. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> no confusion. All right. It's time for a Kid Nation update. 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 Guess who's update. back? Back Guess again. Back. Yeah. Bobby's, Bobby's back. back. Tell a friend. Bobby Rogers is back in studio. Yay. Hi, Bobby. Hey, JC. Hey, Bob- Bobby. You look good. Do you feel good? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Tell us everything. So, a little update. Bobby is a kid's kid uh-huh. who went on the trip with us a couple years ago. Bobby, you're just yeah. like family. It's like we see you all the time, man. And you had to have a heart a heart surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Big boy. And it went all good. And it went all good. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, because okay. they, they put, yeah. what, like a different, uh, like a cow valve? valve or something in there? Bobby's like, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um... Feeling good. Yeah, you were very brave, Bobby. Turn on some music. Oh, oh okay. Turn on some music. Oh. Like, um, like, what do you want me to play, Bobby? What do you like? Um. You want to sing this one, the Love Letters to Kelly jingle, real quick? Yeah. Okay, you ready? One, yeah. two, three. Love Letters. Love Letters to Kelly. Very well good. played, Bobby. Well played. Very do you nice. have a love problem, Bobby, that I can help you with? Do you like a girl or something, and you don't know how to tell her? I do, but um, I have to figure it out. Hold on, let me think. Uh, okay, he's thinking. Okay, he's got to get his thoughts together. Maybe we can Bobby, help. Maybe let we me help. ask you, is this girl in close vicinity to you? Does she work for a radio show? No. Okay, good. All right, okay. So good. She's a kid. She's okay. a kid. Okay, good, Bobby. We're getting down we're to getting your age somewhere. range. That's good. What does her name start with? V. A v. Okay, V. Okay, so it's Vivian. All right. Victoria. 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 Okay, good. So now she knows, Bobby. So your problem has been solved. Clearly, Bobby, you're doing extremely well after the surgery. You're back to your normal self. Yeah. Any anything uh, you feel anything or is it back to normal? You just have a cool scar now. I have a cool scar. I know it's a cool scar. Cool scar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah girls like scars. True. Let me see it, please. Because how long has it been? Has it been like oh. two weeks? Uh-oh. Here we go. Whoa. He's lifting up his shirt. Whoa. Let me see that thing, Bob. Wow. Hey, that, that's nice. awesome, Bobby. Nice. He's so tough, Bobby. Nice. Big man. Yeah. You're not feeling any pain? Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. And you, actually, you heal very fast, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you might be a superhero because yeah. your scar is basically mm-hmm. just chilling now. So do you have school starting soon? Yeah, next week. How? What grade? Second grade. Second right. grade. Are you looking forward to school? Yeah. I bet you had a more exciting summer than most of your classmates, huh? Mm-hmm. Getting a new heart. And you're going to go to school and you're going to do well. And then no more surgeries now? You're all good? Yeah. All right. Nice. Oh. Dab it. He just dabbed oh, on dabbing. everybody. So when you check out the hospital, you say, see ya. See ya, hospital. Uh-huh. Anything yeah. you want the people to know? Uh-oh. Um, yeah. Okay. What? okay. Kids, kid out there. Yeah. I love y'all. Aww. 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 Bobby. Oh, Bobby. That's nice, Bobby. Come on. Believe, believe in Jenna Hank, Bobby. More Kid Nation TV after the break. You bring the life that shows everyone what it is to be special. Tune into Kid Nation TV all this week for a chance to win a trip to the spectacular Margaritaville Key West Resort in Marina. Serving as the hub of relaxation in Key West, Florida, this waterfront destination is full of cool and eclectic activities. Offering a tropical pool, waterfront boutiques, and a full range of water sports, there's fun for everyone at this resort. Text the word Margaritaville to 31996 by midnight central time on Sunday to enter for this three-night getaway. Thanks, Visit Florida. Welcome back to Kid Nation TV. Welcome back to a special edition of Kid Nation TV and today's Kid Craddock's birthday. So we're dedicating the show to his favorite thing, kids' kids. 
A lot of times, some of the heroes on our trip aren't just the kids' kids, but it's the siblings of our kids' kids. And I remember one very special letter that a big brother wrote for his little sister, Lauren, that brought us all to tears. He's a teenage boy, and he talks about his love for his little sister that he watches struggle in a wheelchair. And the thing we loved about this kid, he would go out on dates with girls, and he insisted that the little sister always tagged along. It's really hard, you know, for the siblings of these kids because a lot of times so much energy and attention is focused on the sick child that the healthier siblings are often overlooked. So I think that's a very important part of what we do as a kid's kid's family. And um, a lot of times these, these are unsung heroes and that would be the siblings of our kid's kids. When you were brought into this world, I told everyone and anyone that I was getting a sister. Not just a sister, but an extraordinary sister. And that is what I received. A sister that has the power to bring a smile to anyone's face through determination. A sister that brings life and light to everyone's eyes, no matter who you are. You bring the life that shows everyone what it is to be special. The light that guides us with your love. Lauren, you're the heart and soul of this family. You do not know how much of an impact that you put on people. When you walk by, people always seem to stop and stare, and you feel like they're frowning upon you and your disabilities. But they're not staring to be mean. They're staring because you give off that unexplainable feeling. The feeling that runs throughout your body. I this have feeling that. makes it hard to breathe and speak. You feel scared yet excited. I know this because you give me the same feeling when you act like little Miss Independent. It also comes when your face lights up like fireworks on the 4th of July. Nothing makes me happier than to see you smile. I will never forget the day that I told you that you were chosen for the Kids Kids Walt Disney World trip. Your face lit up brighter than the sun, followed by the biggest hug I've ever received. Lauren, you are the light in my life. You give me hope and no despair. I will always be there for you whenever and wherever you, wherever you are. I am just a touch away. Take me to a place where all my dreams come true. Cause everybody knows I've got a dream or two. And when we hit the ground, there ain't a thing I won't do. Just tell me what you got or oh, bring it on. I close my eyes at night when I'm a hero man. But when they see my face, they'll finally understand. Well, we could see the world. Just give me your hand. Nothing's gonna stand in our way. Shining like the stars. Son, I know that it's for real And all the faces that I meet They think I'm a big deal I tell them I'm just here to have some fun And it seems that I belong here I just wish I could stay But some turns on this road We all gotta take
ready to live it up at the Margaritaville Key West Resort and Marina in Florida? Enter our watch and win game now. Just text Margaritaville to 31996 by midnight central time on Sunday to enter. Treat yourself to Margaritaville's legendary R&R at this tropical oasis in the Florida Keys. More Kid Nation after the break. Welcome back to Kid Nation TV. It's important for me that endorsements that I do on the show aren't just a one-way street. You know, I like working with clients and companies that love the show, they're fans of the show, they're fans of me, they're fans of the things that we're passionate about, especially when it comes to giving back. And Kids Kids is obviously something I think every single one of us on the show is involved in past the point of it being our job. We always want to give back to this charity, so when we find other large companies like Squeeze that feel as equally passionate about Kids Kids as we do, it's very exciting. I heard that you guys have your own give back program to the community, right? And it's called Squeeze Together. Will you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So Squeeze Together is actually much more than just a monthly contribution of $1,000 to a charitable cause. Um, what we do is we actually showcase and recognize these communities that aren't publicized or not that we're not aware of. Um, and these recipients for these awards are actually either individuals or institutions, and sometimes, or most of the time actually, um, the submissions, nominees, and awards are um, submitted by the community members themselves. A couple months ago, when Hurricane Harvey happened, we donated $20,000 to that cause. And then obviously today, we're gonna be donating another $5,000 to the Kids Kids. Whoa, Foundation. what? Yeah. Yay, yeah. thank you. You guys have always been so great. Yeah, great, thanks so much. Definitely. We're so honored, excited. You know that takes an entire family to Disney World for all five days that we're there. We say that's about the average that it costs uh, us to take like a family of four or five to Disney World for those five days. So you are paying for a whole family to go in November. We're so excited and uh, thanks a lot for that. We appreciate it. See how great squeezes? You can give back to your own body <laughs> by drinking them and then they give back to the community. Thanks so much, guys. Of course.